Hello everybody, welcome to Food Talk TV, welcome in. Hello, hello, my name is Michelle. I am the owner of Red Wagon Bakery and I am tonight's host. Tonight we are making some, hello Shay Shay or Cha Cha. Hello Erica, welcome in everybody. Welcome in, Marie, Nicole, hello guys. If you could all do me a favor and double tap that screen. Babs, welcome in, I see you, I see you. I'm waiting for Taylor to get started. There's hubby in the background. Hello. Hi everyone. Chuck Tonight, I am your host. My name is Michelle. I am going to be making some Cajun shrimp pasta. Or no, I'm sorry. Cajun shrimp linguine. I'm waiting for Taylor to pop in here so I can get started. Hello, Mitzi. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. Um, as soon as I get started here, I'm not going to be able to, to view my screen very well because i got to bend down my tripod. So I'm waiting just a second here for Taylor to pop in. Let's see if she's around here. Hey, Kaz. I've been waiting for Taylor, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and start. Um, we're making some... Hello, everybody. We're making some Cajun shrimp Alfredo... Cajun shrimp linguine. Sorry. And uh, hey, Kaz. So I guess, I guess I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, so what we're doing today, I do have, let me go ahead and get this down here. All right. So over here, I have my pan going for my noodles. That's the first thing I'm going to get going here. It's almost ready. Um, now for the Cajun seasoning, we are going to be doing our own Cajun seasoning tonight. It's not mine. It's actually a recipe from Sugar Spun Run. I absolutely love Sam and everything she makes, so... I'm going to kind of make this one into my own this evening. I'm going to do a, a few different things than what are on there. But if you do want to follow along, you can go on to sugarspunrun.com. This recipe that I'm doing specifically will be on Food Talk TV tonight. So we got this going. And while this is going, I'll go ahead and just come over here and start our Cajun seasoning here. All right. So to this bowl... I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika. I'm also going to add three fourths of a teaspoon of dried oregano. These little cups are my favorite. These right here, we just got them. Hey Herb, I see you in here. Hi Monique, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate everyone tapping that screen this evening. Thank you. I am making some Cajun shrimp linguine tonight. So right here we have three-fourths teaspoon of oregano. Hey Jeannie, welcome in. Welcome in guys. I went and bought these today at a family tree, what was it, what is it called again baby? Uh, Dollar Tree. Sorry, I can never forget which one that we go to. It's Dollar Tree. And got these little things because they're perfect for my seasonings. To this also, now we are making our occasion seasoning right here. We're going to add into this, uh, let's see, where are we at now? This is the dried thyme, but I also have oregano in here. Just a little pinch of oregano and a little bit of the thyme. I'm going to throw that in there with a half a teaspoon of dried basil. Right here. Thank you guys for tapping that screen. Go ahead and let me know where you guys are from in the comments. We are in central Illinois. We are also a small business bakery as well, but tonight we're cooking some food. Then we're going to add one half teaspoon of garlic powder right on into there. Hope you guys can see everybody. Hey, Melissa. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. Thank you all for being here this evening. Now, this calls for onion, but if you know me and if you've been on my show before here, you know, I don't like onion. I don't like the texture of onion. So I'm just going to add in some minced onion to this. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we got some onion powder and some garlic powder coming up. I think I already put the garlic powder in. So this is a fourth, or I'm sorry, three-fourths of onion powder. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you, Herb. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, I think Taylor might be here now. Hold on. Nope, it's Kaz. <laughs> Hi. I hope you're still here. Sorry, I just saw the invite. Hey there. Hi. Hi. I had Hi, talked everybody. to Taylor earlier. 
she was taking a nap, so I'm not sure if she overslept her alarm or what happened, but thank you for popping in with me. That's all right. I got it. I got you. Thank you. I got thank it. you. Texas Moon Doggy. Hey, Melissa. Hey. Hello, everybody. So this is this is where it gets a little tricky, and you can put whatever you want in here. This is cayenne pepper. I can't do super spicy stuff. So I'm doing just a little bit. Hold on. I forgot to put myself on D&D, &D, so give me one second here. Okay. I apologize. I don't want my phone messing up. So right now, guys, she is making a uh, Cajun seasoning. She's oh, putting wow. a little twist on it on the recipe. Where did you get the recipe from? Sugarspunrun.com. Okay. Kim is just phenomenal. And we're so going to put it up on foodtalktv.com. Yes, foodtalktv.com. This is where this recipe will be. This is just a little bit of a different switch to hers. Uh, but I like to follow hers for the beginning. We're just going to whisk it together here. See, we don't do a lot of our own from scratch recipes when it comes to cooking because we're bakers. So when it comes to cooking, I got to look some stuff up. I'm not like Kaz and, and Taylor over there who can just make up their own stuff on the whim. I got to look stuff up. <laughs> So here's our Cajun seasoning here. And then I'm going to grab my teaspoon. Hey, and I'm going to take just this out. So uh, tell, me, tell me again, just recap the ingredients on that. Uh-huh. It has smoked paprika, oregano, uh, dried thyme with a little bit of Italian seasoning, basil, garlic powder, cayenne pepper. We're going to add a little bit of salt just a tiny bit and a couple shakes of pepper to it as well. Voiceless sky is in the house. How you doing, buddy? Thank you all for being here. Kaz, I feel special. This is your first time on with me. I know, right? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to take a, um, one teaspoon of this. This is a half that I grabbed and we're going to save this for our sauce at the end. So we're just going to save that, put that back. And now we're going to start on the shrimp. You guys, you're watching Food Talk TV, and if you just hit the uh, hit the follow button, uh, you'll be able to hit the bell, and it will tell you every time we go live. We go live multiple times a day. Right now, you you are watching Red Wagon Bakery. Hi and that is hell. Please I'm follow. I'm just gonna some linguine noodles now over here. I have a question. Do you use your the entire bat? Uh, the entire box, do you have enough people in your family or do you measure it somehow? Nope, we use the whole box because we got four people eating this this evening. Well, okay. three because I'm honestly not very hungry today, so they'll eat it for me. You guys tap the screen. We are close to 5,000 likes. Let's see if we can get, get her to uh, her normal 500,000 likes. Okay? <laughs> yeah, 500,000. I love that. All right, so these are just extra jumbo shrimp. Uh, they are deveined and peeled, but they do still have the tails on them. I'm gonna cook them with the tails on because I like how they look in pictures afterwards. Yeah. And I like doing fancy pictures, so. Okay. We're gonna dry them off first and foremost here. Hi, Pam. We, we all miss Ashton here. Oh, That's so good. much. So much. She's phenomenal. All right. Here we go. I'm just going to lay all these out so I can dry them off. I'm going to so throw do, them you, in. do you always use uh, fresh fresh shrimp? Do you ever use uh, buy it cooked? Um, yeah, I don't usually cook a lot with shrimp because, okay, so here's the thing. We're going to have a real honest conversation right here. I'm a baker, right? We're a small business baker. So when it comes time for dinner time, we don't do a lot of cooking usually. We will do something super fast, super easy. Hamburger helper, etc. Thank because you. By the time we're done, oh, by the time we're done baking during the day, I don't want to cook. So <laughs> yeah. we're, we've been in the kitchen. What time do we start this morning, babe? Seven thirty. Before seven. So we've been in the kitchen since before seven this morning. So yeah, this is an all-day thing for us. So by dinner time, no, I don't have fancy recipes for dinner. I can make a heck of a mean boxed hamburger helper though. 
There you go. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Thank you for coming in. We make some killer grilled cheeses. We do grill most. We do grill. Yeah, we grill and stuff. I should say my husband does most of the cooking. I don't really do a lot of cooking. <laughs> Herb. Yeah, Thank you so much for the chilies, Herb. Herb is killing it with that chili. I dip. love Herb. I love me some Herb. I love his recipes. I love his whole channel. I love everything about him. His lives are always fun. Love her. Okay, why won't this open? Dr. Shaw says she doesn't blame y'all. She says it's a, that's a long day of cooking. It is. It is. So by the time we're done, I'm just like, oh, I don't want to anymore. Hey, Charles. How you doing, buddy? Charles is one of our FTTV creators. Hi, Charles. I will tell you though, last night we made that homemade buffalo chicken pizza. Holy cow, it was good. Babe, tell us about the pizza because he talked about this pizza for literally three hours after he got done eating it. So she made this pizza and it was a uh, buffalo chicken ranch and uh, it was all homemade. We, we did buy uh, the crust in a can. But anyway, the rest this, of it was homemade. Yeah, the rest of it was all homemade. <laughs> this pizza was so good. I told her it was probably one of the best pizzas, homemade, easy that I've ever had, if not one of the oh. best ever. Because it was like un. I mean, it was just so the consistency was perfect. The season. I mean, it was amazing. So anyway, and the kids both loved it too, which is a bigger win in itself. So what I'm doing okay, now so is I'm adding all of that seasoning that we had. Yeah. Right here into the shrimp. Healing me softly. Hi, Heather. Hey, Welcome to being here. I just told my husband I usually do the hour before to remind everybody, and I forgot to do that today, so I wasn't sure if my regular people would see me on or not. So if you're here, thank you, guys. All right, now we're just going to lather it all up nice and good right in there and be super noisy while we do it, of course. Okay. Uh, Heather B. says, hi, everyone. Hi, hi Heather. Heather. All right. So now I got my saucepan going. Hey, babe. Yeah. Never mind. I'll tell you when you get back in. They're not done yet anyway. I was going to have them check the noodles, but they're not done. Okay. Let me just start it. All right. Hi, Monique. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate you. Thank you all for being here this evening. So I'm going to add a little bit of olive you guys oil. Give it a share. Give us a share. Okay, a little olive oil. Yep. Just pouring a little bit of olive oil in there. Herb, is Herb, Herb, dude. He's amazing. Isn't he amazing? He, <laughs> yes, he's he is. He's amazing. I just love him. All right. We got that going. We'll turn it on about medium. So we got that going on medium warming up. Do, do, do. And we're going to go ahead, and once this gets warm enough, we're going to wait just a second for it to warm up. And then it's I'm going to throw it low. Say what? Uh, uh, Cuckoo Kachu says, hey, Michelle, what you cooking? Hi, Cuckoo Kachu. We're making some Cajun shrimp um, linguine. I keep wanting to say Alfredo, but we're not making Alfredo today. We're making linguine. Cajun shrimp linguine. <laughs> If you guys can't tell, I'm a big fan of pastas. I made, I've made pastas like three times now, I think. <laughs> but I love me some pasta. That's fine. Most of the world loves pasta. Yeah, There's who doesn't love a good pasta? Hey, babe, do you know the tongs? Never mind, I found them. <sighs> Herb says, I love you too, Red Wagon Bakery. Thank you, Herb. I love you, sir. All right. We're just going to pop these right on in here. We're going to sear them. 
Get them nice and golden colored here. Mr. Crown Royal, what's up? Jesse, welcome in. Hi, Melissa. All right. Mr. Crown Royal show is on Food Talk TV on Fridays. Him and his wife crush it That's every Friday. Good thing too. Jesse always has a great show. We all have great shows. All right. Now, I would say that this is the best lineup we've had in years. I think we have an amazing lineup. All the new people are doing great. I love it. And I'm super thankful to be part of it. So, Kaz, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, right. you know, we've been trying to get you for to say yes for a year. So I know. I'm so glad I finally have the time to do it. Thankfully, I'm so, so thankful. Thank you, Babs. I agree. Ignore me over here slopping water everywhere. A while still. So. Okay. All righty. So what do you do to tell whether your pasta is done? Do you do the traditional thing of throwing it at your husband and if it sticks to him? then? <laughs> no, I just make him eat it. Oh, okay. All right. All right. He just tastes it and tells me. Sometimes if I'm feeling fun, I'll throw it at the refrigerator. But usually I'm just like, hey, babe, taste this. <laughs> and he'll be like, yep, it's done or no, it's not. He's so handy for so many things, man. So handy. Thanks, babe, for being handy. <laughs> Glad to be your noodle tester. <laughs> He's my noodle tester, my cookie tester, my everything tester. You're everything tester. Yeah. Patience uh, tester. Patience tester, he says. <laughs> <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> yeah. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he does so well. So well. Here, let me bring this closer so you guys can actually see. There we go. Now you can see the pan. And once we're done with these, we're going to... Hi, Andrea. <laughs> I was like, wait, that's not Kaz. <laughs> actually, I don't see Andrea. Oh, there she is. I see her. Hello, guys. All right. I'm going to go ahead and flip these over and let them cook on the other side for a minute. And I just found out today to know that if a, a shrimp is done or not, because I don't usually cook shrimp like this. Like you said, Kaz, when I do cook shrimp, it's usually the pre-cooked stuff already, so I don't have to, to cook it. But yeah. I found out today when you can no longer, it's no longer trans, what's the word, transparent, translucent? Translucent. Yeah. Then, uh, and it's opaque in color, then it's done. Hi. What you making? Cajun shrimp linguine. Okay. With a homemade Cajun sauce or seasoning. Andrea, can you take over? Yep. Thank you. I <laughs> Bye, Michelle. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Kaz. Hi, Andrea. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Where's Taylor? She messaged early and said she was taking a nap, so I'm wondering if she did not hear her alarm go off, which is okay. fine because you're here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, I need everybody in here to top the screen, share the live with ten of your friends. Jay Wu wants to know what kind of sauce you're making. Um, for this, I'm going. It's gonna have chicken broth. It's gonna have some cream cheese, some more of the Cajun seasoning, um, all kinds of good stuff. We'll make this after this. But right here on this for the shrimp, it has smoked paprika, smoked paprika, dried oregano, uh, some thyme, basil garlic powder, onion powder, a little tiny bit, about one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, some pepper and some salt. And I just shook it up in the bag and threw it in the pan. Awesome. All right. That is awesome. So you guys, we are a group of food content creators. We go live every day, you guys. 
And on Wednesdays, we have two. I go live at 10 a.m. and she goes live in the evening. I was able to hop in for a few minutes to yours, Andrea. And yeah, because we're, my family's eating this, we're just going to use the same utensil. It doesn't matter. It's just a few it seasonings. Matter. It really doesn't matter. No. I mean, it gives your noodles some flavor, right? Yep. That's how I see it. Um, I was able to stop in for a few minutes this morning. How would, how'd your live go? It went great. My friend loved the food. Good. It looked delicious. When I hopped well, I in, you were doing it with done. Food? You need Say to take what? that shrimp off. Your shrimp is done. It's going to turn rubbery. Okay. Yeah. I'll get it off. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I overcook shrimp all the time, so I kind of like it. I kind of like it tough. <laughs> all right. Me, we'll go ahead thank you for the go where everybody's from. Let us know in the comment section where you're from. I'm in Kentucky. I'm in Central Illinois. Central Illinois. Oh. Central Illinois. He dropped his test noodle on the floor. <laughs> He's got to get a new one. All right. We Don't have get, Florida oh, here, oh. Kansas City, Miami, New York, Boston, Rhode Island, Louisiana, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Belize, mm. Texas, yeah. another Texas. Welcome in, everybody, and thank you for spending your Wednesday evening with me. Michigan is here. Four tablespoons of butter to the pan, and we're going to leave it just like it is. I did turn it down to medium low. Okay. For this. Okay. I forgot to get flour, darling. All right. Baker doesn't have flour. Say what? A baker doesn't have flour? I do. It's just not out. He's going to grab it from the closet for me. I was going to say. And at this point is where you would normally add your onion to it. But again, I don't like textured onion. So I use minced onion and I put that in the seasoning. I'm weird. I know everyone's like, but it gives it so much flavor. And I'm sure that it does. I just don't. I can't. Ugh, I don't like it. All right, so next on the list, let's see where we're at here. <laughs> Excuse me, we're going to add. Okay, now this part seems to be very important. Adding the minced garlic and only allowing it like once everything's melted and, and gum to come together because it will, it says it will give it a bad taste, a bitter taste to it. So my noodles are good. Hubby's going to drain the noodles here for me. And then I'm going to grab my tablespoon over here. Uh -huh. the... Melissa said her husband's hoping that she would make a banana bread. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can make that next week if that's what you guys want to see. So we're going to add two table or teaspoons, but my teaspoon is over there. So I'm just going to use my half. Was that garlic? It was. It's minced garlic. We're only going to get an electric stoves and gas stoves. What was that? What is the difference in electric stoves and gas stoves? Other than gas, I have no idea. And then we're going to add some flour. Say what? I think it's the difference of a heat. Maybe, maybe it gets hotter. I really don't know. Everyone tap the screen, share the live with 10 of your friends. Check out our link in the bio. We are a group of food content creators. We go live every single day, you guys. Every single day. One tablespoon of flour added into this. So and then we're going to kind of get all mixed in. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm done. Go ahead. JoJo and everybody kept saying that gas cooks quicker. Hmm. It, it, I can see that over the flame. I could definitely see that. And now I'm going to add in my uh, chicken broth, two thirds of a cup of chicken broth. Uh, Where is the chicken broth? All right. 
Well, this is the fourth. That's okay. We'll improvise. Let the fourth be with you. <laughs> exactly. There we go. That's about approximate. I can just go back over here on the side. Thank you, dear. I'm going to add this and we're going to let it just sit here for just a few minutes to thicken up just a little bit before we add our tomatoes. I'm going to add 14.5 ounces of canned fire roasted tomatoes to this as well. And they will be drained too. Okay, yeah, that's getting nice and thick. We'll get those added here. Once again, everybody, thank you for coming in. Thank you for spending your Wednesday night with us, tapping the screen, the gifts, etc. I appreciate you guys so much. Sorry, I'm not getting this lid off very fast here. I see some shrimp. Um, some shrimp. Babs is posting some shrimp emojis. You guys, let's fill up the emojis with some shrimp emojis. Let's see those shrimp emojis. We got diced, roasted tomatoes. Yes, ma'am. Fire roasted. Oh, they smell so good, too. What you making again? Cajun shrimp linguine. That's funny. Did Cass tell you he was making carbonara today? He did not. Melissa is doing some shrimp. Herb is doing some shrimp. Who else is doing shrimp? Forged. Babs is doing shrimp. Babs started Thank the you. shrimp. We have 145 people in here. If you guys did not follow us, oh. go ahead and follow us. We are a group of food content creators. We go live every single day, you guys, every single day. And there's a different creator every day and sometimes twice a day. Oh, hold on. I don't know what that's doing. There we go. Oh, that was crazy. We've Let's got, let's go. Let's go. Monique. Monique is shrimping. Monique. We call her Monique. Mo That's what we all say when she comes into the rooms. We love Monique. You know and Monique. now I'm going to add three fourths cup of heavy cream. And then we're going to let it get all nice and thick. Why do people use heavy cream over milk? You know, I, I just like it because it thickens it up quicker. That's why I like it, but I use it mostly anyway because I'm a baker. So mostly it's heavy cream that goes into the stuff that I'm making. Instead of milk? Yeah. Mm. Two thirds cup. And then at this point is when I'm also going to add in that one teaspoon that I took out earlier of the seasonings. I'm gonna go ahead and add that back to the sauce. And then we're just gonna stir it until it thickens. The noodles are nice and brown thinking over here. Good grief. Someone's car stereo. Gee. <laughs> Yummy says cooking with herb. Thank you. I hope it's delicious. It smells really good. I'm not a big Cajun fan because usually it's too spicy for me and I can't really do a lot of spice. It hurts my stomach. So uh, I don't usually do a lot of very spicy things. But I figured this one didn't have too much spice in it and you can control the cayenne pepper since you're doing it yourself. So I'm like, well, let's try that tonight. I'm sure Babs wants to take a straw to that. Straw <laughs> face mm. wants it too. We're just going to let that sit there for a second. Watch out, dog. My dog is right underneath my feet because he smells food. My goodness. Usually he sits over there on the... On, <laughs> on the, the couch? Yeah. Yep. So, you guys, we have Oregon Family Trail in here. Uh, Gosh, Oregon Family food. Cooking. They are in our Food Talk TV. Give them a follow. We also have Melissa Murd in here. Give her a follow. She is also part of our Food Talk TV family. All amazing creators and people. 
when Shannon came over, man, she brought all her people in full force. Herb and Dixie and man, all kinds. Trini, I love the food community. It's just, it's phenomenal. Love our foodies. Booty patooties. Booty patooties. Melissa Bird. Yep. Pam says, Mel hi, Melissa. Eh. It's hard reading the comments. You have to like go like this sometimes. I can't even yeah. read them, so <laughs> my 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 screen's so low. Sorry, guys, I can't see it unless I've been all the way down here. Yeah, I know it's okay. All right. You're so glad you found this. Well, Dollface and anybody else who just found us today. Click that follow button. Click that subscribe button. We are Food Talk TV. We go live every single day. We're a group of food content creators. Well, my goodness, my friend Fred is here. I Hi, haven't Fred. seen him forever. Hi, Freddie. We'll give it just another minute to let it set up. And while that's setting up, I'm going to grab my stuff out of here for the Texas sheet cake icing for the cookies because this will be done here in just a few minutes. So I did save the Texas sheet cake icing for tonight. Um, let's see here. We have people are asking what time we go live. We have different hours of when we go live. We go live every single day, sometimes twice a day. Um, you can check out the our website. It's in the bio. Okay. Jojo, thank you for the gifts. Everybody, gifts are appreciated, okay? We love our gifts, and I see the life goal was achieved. Thank you, guys. Try, I'm wrestling with a bag of shredded cheese back here, so forgive me. Because I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese to this, too. Cooking with Herb says you rock. Aw, love you, Herb. All right, so now that it's starting to thicken up just a little bit more, we're gonna go ahead and add some Parmesan cheese. Now, you can add however much you want to this. We're cheese freaks over here, so I think the original recipe called for half a cup, but we're just gonna graciously spread that on there. I am a cheese freak. I love my cheese. My favorite's Munster. I love Munster cheese. Oh. It's the best. What? <laughs> husband, husband wants to know what everyone's cheese recommendations are. Okay, that's a good question, you guys. What is everyone's favorite kind of cheese? What brand or flavor? What is it? What kind of cheese is everyone's favorite? You like Vermont style? You like American cheese? You like deluxe cheese? You like Colby cheese? We have Gouda in the building. Gouda, Gouda, wow. Gouda. Two Goudas, a Swiss. We got someone who Ooh. likes Swiss. Brie, yeah. cheddar cheese, smoked Gouda. Sharp Ooh. cheddar have oh, Vermont. Geez. Gouda, Mons, Munster. You know, I used to love Munster. I, I like Hardy too. Mac and cheese blend. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I like a Vardy too. Mac and Colby. All right. So this Go is cheese. now done enough to add our noodles to it. Goat cheese is the best. I don't think I've ever eaten goat cheese. Canadian <sighs> white cheddar, smoked gouda. Dill Havarti. Okay, that's a new one. Uh, Canadian white cheddar. Pepper Jack cheese says Fred. Blue cheese says Jay Wu. Man, we're still on the cheese. That's a hot topic. Woo cheese, blue okay. cheese, honey goat cheese. Goodness. Thank you. We should ask this question more often. <laughs> yeah, we should. People like their cheese. Now, I didn't do a cheese from Costco. Any cheese, pepper jack cheese. Ah, uh, doll faces, loving it. <laughs> All right. Sharp cheddar cheese. We're gonna put about half the package. Cheese is the best. I did cook the whole box. Okay. 
Hi, wonderful people, says Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. She is part of our creator network, you guys. We are also a live creator network. And um, FTTV Creators is our creator network name. No one said Swiss. Yes, they did. I read Swiss off like three times. <laughs> Love right. cheese and oil. I'm going to use my other thing here to bring these sides together. There we go. It's looking good. Smells delicious. I would say you're making me hungry, but I haven't been hungry since March. So, <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 different. it's different when you have lap band surgery. You're never hungry. Well, I am stuck today. I ate four sliders for lunch when I would normally not eat four sliders. So, whew. Then we're just going to add little shrimpies in here. We're going to toss this around. I want to I wanna make pasta, but it's too many calories for me. Oh, I can only I eat 900 calories a day. Oh, man. Yeah. Let me turn this heat down here. Mm. This Can't is going to be so... Factory, that's for sure. All right. Cheesecake Factory salads are like 5,000 calories, you guys. <laughs> How much have I lost? <laughs> So far, about 35. Now let that sit for one second here. While I clean this back here, I'll be right back. Okay. So you guys, this is Food Talk TV. My name is Andrea. I also host on Wednesdays. I go live at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Tomorrow will be... Taylor, she's going live at 7 p.m. Central Time, I believe. Yeah, she's at Central Time, uh, 7 p.m. Central. And then are Shannon and Dustin right after her, I believe? After her or they're before her? Um, I think last week they were on at 9, but don't quote me. So I'm just going to move this over to the side because now while this is staying nice and warm, I'm going to move my extra noodles over to the side. And I'm going to make some Texas sheet cake icing for my Texas sheet cake cookies. I am Eastern time and I have celiac, so I am gluten free. Unfortunately, I haven't had bread in years. So Oregon Family Cooking, you guys, goes live at 9 p.m. Central time on Thursdays. Uh, you want some cheese and crackers? Girl, I'm gonna go to the store and get me some cheese. Okay. So for this, now we're gonna make a larger batch because I have a larger amount of cookies to ice with this. So this is a double batch. But for this, for this one batch, you would use a half a cup of butter, but I'm gonna use a whole cup. And again, we got our pasta over here just hanging out. Be like Paula Dean and use a stick for anything. Mm hmm All right. Remember when her son had that cooking show, Not My Mama's Cooking? Does he still do that? I have no idea. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Yeah. Two tablespoons of cocoa. I need to. Oh, we got it. Okay. You guys, why don't you guys follow each other in the chat? If you guys want to follow each other, type in follow me. And everybody can go follow you guys. Okay? Type in the chat, follow me. And then you guys can follow each other. You just say, follow me. How are, how, I'm good. You disappeared from me, Freddie. He doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> so right now I'm just uh, melting down a cup of butter. And uh, we already have the Texas sheet cake cookies done, but the recipe for them are super easy. They're, these are just an easy box cookie. Um, they're chocolate cake mix with two eggs and one third cup of vegetable oil. That's it. You cook them at the, the 350 for 11, nine, nine minutes, nine, nine minutes. Yep. Sorry, we've made a lot of cookies okay. today. What are you doing right now? I'm making the icing for the Texas sheet cake cookies. Okay. Because 
talking about the event. We are at a, an event this weekend, so we're spending all of today, tomorrow, and Friday mass producing to set up on Saturday again. <laughs> it's okay. I don't watch TV either. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yes. A orange heart icing, yummy. Whoa. This is the best icing. It's delicious. It's so good. Dr. D, how are you, my dear? So, you guys, FTV Creator Network has expanded into the UK. Woo. And those of you who know Bobby, the Yorkshire Indian, he's going to be the director. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to get my space cleaned up here to put my cookies down. All right. Okay, so, so far we have the one cup of butter. It is now melted. I have this going over about medium low heat. And then to that, I'm going to add. Hold on one second. I just lost my recipe. It's okay. There it is. Okay. So putting hashtag FYP and hashtag follow in a chat for for live streams doesn't really do anything. It doesn't do anything. I don't know if you're doing it to 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 to, to bring people there or not, but it's not. It's I not just put in two tablespoons of cocoa butter or cocoa powder. I'm sorry, not Thank cocoa butter. Brownies now. Oh, love me some brownies. Then we're going to add three tablespoons of milk to this as well. So that's all nice and mixed. That's what it looks like right now. Did you double? Yes, I think so. Wait, no, I didn't. I only put two in this. I forgot I was doubling it. Thank goodness for hubby back here reminding me that I'm doubling it. So we're putting in four tablespoons instead. And then six tablespoons of milk. Yeah, that's not how you do it. How you promote it, uh, people's lives is you comment, tap the screen, and you can share the live with 10 of your friends. That's how you try to support live creators. Don't forget to click the follow button, you guys. We are at 29K likes. Let's see if we can get to wow. 40K likes before we end our live stream. We just added six tablespoons of milk. And then to this, I'm going to add five cups of powdered sugar. It's a lot. Five cups. But it is the best icing. Yeah, exactly, Babs. You guys, if you're happy, you know it. Tappity tap. Tappity tap. I love that. King wants to know what you're making. Um, well, over here on this side, we have a Cajun shrimp linguine. But right here, I am making a Texas sheet cake icing to go on top of the Texas sheet cake cookies, which are just chocolate box cookies, really. They're nothing fancy. The only thing that makes them fancy is this delicious icing on top because it is so good. Now, normally... You can sift this. It really, I've done it both ways. It really doesn't make it any less clumpy. You just stir it a little bit longer and it's fine. But a lot of people say, make sure you sift your powdered sugar. I didn't sift mine. I think it'll be just fine. But you definitely can to keep the clumps out. So there's one. And here I'll give you guys a look at how it's going in there. You can see. And then we got two. I definitely have to count out loud because if I don't count out loud, I forget. So usually when my husband's in the other room, I'll be like one and he'll repeat one. So he helps me keep track. <laughs> you guys are funny. 
That was two. <laughs> he lost count already. Fred has finally so, has finally followed Food Talk TV. Woo uh, Spicy Tiff says I need to make out to Illinois. <laughs> Come on out. We'd love right. to have you. You know, to be honest, though, there's not really much reason to come to Illinois. We don't have anything great. We have a lot of cornfields. Oh, yeah, we have Chicago. How many was that? Three? Yeah. Three. Yeah, I'm not a city girl. Was it Sammy Sosa for the Cubs or was he for somebody else? Yeah, I was Sammy Sosa. (laughs) He said, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about baseball i love football i follow we're, we're cowboys fans over here don't hate on us please um <laughs> but we just follow football and he he watches everything i don't watch any other stuff so we're at three we're almost there i just got to keep a stir good i guess people are letting us know where they're from without us having to even ask i love that we got new jersey in the building we got Florida in the building. Where else is everybody from? We want to know in the comment section. Here's four. Okay. Man, he's got right in there. Can you do a little bit lighter next time, dear, please? Thank you. He, he's over here taking care of all this stuff. Laura, Laura go ahead in the building. Michigan is in the building. That is a lot of spaghetti. It is. <laughs> it is. Um, usually, I wouldn't normally use that much. Flood the commons with cities. <laughs> I like, I like, says Freddy. Freddy is a chef. I forgot about that. What, what is, is oh, Freddy? Huh? What kind of food does Freddie cook? All kinds of food? I don't know what I knew he was at some type of pizza, like homemade pizza place a few Ooh. years ago, but I don't know if he's there now. Pizza Are is my love one. Yeah, who doesn't love pizza? I can't eat it anymore. Oh, it's one of my very favorite foods. I can eat breakfast pizza for breakfast, quick slice of pizza for lunch, nice taco pizza for dinner. Oh. Mm. Push the light bulb. Push the light bulb. Freddie said, Freddie said a pizza tosser. Mmm. I love pizza. Now, after I went and said you don't need to sift your flour or your powdered sugar, yeah, now it's wanting to be a little bit clumpy, so I'm just going to keep stirring it here for a minute. This is what it's looking like so far. That looks nice. My favorite icing right here. It is so, so yummy. This is what I ask for every year for my mom for birth, for my birthday is a Texas sheet cake. So, is, so do you ever get flower clogs up your nose? <laughs> yes, all the time. Yeah. It's awful. Ovens are hot, Freddie. I do agree with you. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. I'm over her. Agreeing with that 100%. All right. So like, it's a bit better. so like people with gluten allergies and people with celiac disease going to like restaurants that home make the bread or like pizza parlors or whatever, it makes us so sick. Oh, I bet All so. power in the air. I bet so. Do you have very many gluten-free desserts on your page, Andrea? I need to go look. I don't post food on my page anymore. Do you have any underneath your recipes on Food Talk TV? Yeah, there's several. There's several. I'm going to have to go take a peek. I'm not good at the uh, gluten-free yet. I have a lot of requests for gluten-free and for sugar-free, but sugar-free is so expensive to make that you'd have to charge double the price of the regular stuff, and I don't like having to do that. You could just say it's sugar-free and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, until somebody's sugar blood sugar goes rising sky high. That's their fault, not yours. 
Was it? Did I not put five in there? No. Well, apparently. I, are you, you only sure? did four. Okay. Well, then we get to stir again for another minute. I like to stir, stir, stir. <laughs> We're icing. Okay, you guys, tap screen. Share the live with 10 of your friends. Chaos said you only put four in. Yeah, that's what I said. We only put four in. Thanks. See, at least you guys are keeping track for me because I thought I was all done. I was all excited, like, yay, no more stirring. Just kidding. I like to tap, 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 -ity, tap, tap my forehead. <laughs> tap the screen. Tap her forehead, guys, as fast as you can. Yeah. Let's see if we can make it to 40K. I don't know. We're at 30.9K. I'm so used to automatically tapping the screen when I go into a live that sometimes when I'm watching videos, I forget it's a video and then they get like 5,000 notifications because I'm tapping on and off light constantly. Yeah, well, that happens. I'm just an automatic tapper. Tappity, tappity, tapper, sin. <gasps> Excuse me, I have the hiccups now. Yeah, thank you. Tappity, tappity, tapper, sin. I was going to make garlic bread with this, but I totally forgot, so, whoops. Started making this instead and forgot about my garlic bread. And that's what a can of biscuits are for. <laughs> well, in all fairness, we just got a loaf of uh, the dollar bread that was on clearance, and we just throw some butter and some cheese on it, so it's really not that much more difficult. All right, this is looking, trying to see if those are bubbles or if those are pockets. I think they're bubbles. So this, oh wait, hold on, wrong way. Sorry guys. That's what it will look like. You see it's starting to, it starts to set up if you don't keep mixing it. It's delicious. I'll mix it just a little bit longer because it does have some more little baby clumps in there and this cookie right here is one of our this and our lemon cookie are our two most Mahatma most uh, and custard. bobby welcome in hi bobby neural spice tiffany's liking the live hi tiff gloria just joined we got a bunch of tap throughers amy just joined john just joined Eddie I just know. joined, Tony oh, just joined, God. Bulldog just joined, Miss Hera Dan just joined, Antonio just joined. So here are the Texas She Cake cookies. Again, for this recipe, it is one box of chocolate cake mix with two eggs and one third cup of, of uh, vegetable oil. Super easy cake mix. And then we're going to put the uh, icing here right on top. See, you know, remember the Sesame Street Cookie Monster song? C mm -hmm. is for cookie. That's good enough for me. C is for cookie. You know? Mm hmm Yeah. You know I'm a mom. But you know what, though? That was my younger brother and I's favorite song from Sesame Street. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. Cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. <laughs> I made some Cookie Monster rolls yesterday that were absolutely delicious and Cookie Monster themed. They were stuffed with Oreos and Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy. Mm -hmm. You guys are making me want to bake things, but I can't eat them. You can bake them and give them to the kids. <laughs> He don't need him either. Have you seen him? <laughs> Neither does mine, but sometimes I just want to bake. Forge says these have my address on them. They're so good. I wish you guys had like, we had like scratch and sift and sniff and scratch and taste screens. Scratch because, and sniff oh. the screen. Yes. If you scratch my screen, it would smell like a laundry detergent out here. Good grief. Oh, 
I love fresh laundry smell. I guess everybody's doing laundry today. We, ours was yesterday at five in the morning. Yay. But you know what? Our washer is broken. So we've been having to go to the laundry mat for like the last three months. And uh, just because we haven't gotten it fixed. But I actually kind of uh, enjoy going at first thing in the morning when there's nobody there and it's all quiet and peaceful. I used to have to go to the laundromat when I had an apartment in my 20s. And we the, recently um, we had these new big bed spreads and so we went to the laundromat out here. And that was a mistake, unfortunately, that it was really dirty mm. because my, my stuff smelled really bad after it was dried. And the place wasn't. Well, the we're pretty lucky here. We have a really, we got a really, really nice one. It's pretty much brand new. It's not very old. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, laundry mats, it's, it's not bad. You just put your laundry in and sit there and total your, yeah. your thumbs. Yep. The icing is thickening. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's going to dry with a nice finished touch on the top. It's not going to be hard, but it's not going to be, I'll be able to bag these individually without them sticking. So they have like a harder dry, but they're still nice and soft when you bite into them. All right. So good. You get these done. I'll get that food plated and have hubby give it a taste test. And then we'll be done for the night. An hour goes by so fast. You guys, did she just flicker? Or is it my ear? I don't know. I'm just trying to make sure it's not me flickering. All right. Now I do have more, so I'm gonna put that back away, but this is what they look like. Yeah, they're delicious. Little, yeah. Delicious little balls of chocolate goodness. And then I'm going to get my husband's plate going. That must he can't be very oh, shoot. I just lost a whole shrimp over there. Did you guys see that? You didn't see that. Put it in your mouth. He's going to grab a plate. I'm going to throw some of this on here, and he's going to give it a taste test. Give me just one second. Where did my tongs go? I keep losing my tongs. They look fire, don't they? Shrimp overboard. Uh, what's her name? What's her name? Who? Was it Farrah Fawcett? Or was it somebody? Uh -huh. Who played on Overboard? Do you know? Goldie Hawn, maybe? Goldie Hawn? Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn jumped out of the pot. Definitely did. Mm -hmm. Ah, come on off there, Duels. And then, of course, we're just going to put some of these pretty little babies right there on top. Just like so. So here's the final plate. He's wanting to escape. I know. He's trying to run away. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. And now I'm going to give this over to my husband. I'm going to turn the camera around here. My dad will and never do a taste test on camera for anybody. He just started. I'm trying to get him more comfortable. That's right. You camera. just started doing this. Yes, he did. Yeah. Let's see what he thinks. Let's go, husband. <laughs> Is it flavorful enough? Does it taste like Cajun? I don't know. I don't trust his opinion. I'm just kidding. <laughs> His good. facial expressions are like, hmm, this is really yeah. good. It's not too spicy at all. It's good. Like He's going to probably add a whole bunch more spice to it. And it's kind of creamy. Sorry, I can spill it my mouth. It's good. <laughs> Very good. Well done, babe. That's it, guys. Ignore me while I sit back here and sweat. But uh, yeah, we got the delicious shrimp Alfredo, or shrimp, Cajun shrimp linguine. It's not Alfredo. I don't know why I keep calling it Alfredo. Um, this will be up on food. You want to taste test Babs, here? Babs and I were convinced. We want you to taste test it. Oh, okay. Let me taste test it. I'm just, is it we spicy, were babe? We his facial expressions. Okay. Okay. Mm. 
It's very creamy. It needs about 10 pounds more salt for me because I'm a salt fiend. So this is not salted enough for me. So if you make it, I would definitely suggest adding a little bit of more salt to it. But other than that, it's good. Mm. I love shrimp. I yeah, unless you eat, I'm gonna go buy shrimp. You're making me hungry, and I'm not even hungry. My eyes are hungry. My stomach isn't. <laughs> it's delicious. It does need some more salt, but I mean the flavors are good. The texture is good. It's nice and creamy. I love shrimp, and they're tip. Thank you for telling me to pull them off because they would have been overcooked. But now they're perfect. So. And that's all we got for you guys tonight. All right, I'm going to call you. Oh, it's cutting me off. Ah. Hold on, guys. Sorry. It's making me do this verification thing. All right, so we got... I want to thank you guys that hopped on. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking the gifts. Thank you for being here and spending your time with me. This The time is the most important part to me. So thank you guys so much. Sorry, the lights are glaring. Um, yeah, thanks. You can follow me at Red Wagon Bakery, which is my regular page. But come back next week, Wednesday at 5 p.m. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye.